In the universe, there are two huge man-made bases floating. They are the crystallization of human wisdom all over the world and the embodiment of China's top technology. They are both important platforms for human exploration and utilization of space, and the crystallization of human technology and creativity. But what are the differences between them? Let's take a closer look in this video. Let's first learn about the International Space Station. It is currently the largest artificial celestial body in space, built and operated by 16 countries. This can be said to be a scientific research center in the universe, with various high-tech equipment for large-scale scientific research involving multiple disciplines. This space station is quite large, weighing about 423 tons, 110 meters long and 88 meters wide. Imagine that this is roughly the size of two football fields. In space, it can accommodate six to seven astronauts. Its construction was not an easy task, and it took a full 12 years, starting in 1998. Through multiple launches of space shuttles and rockets, different modules and equipment were sent into space, and then assembled in space like building blocks to form this final space station. The structure of the International Space Station is mainly divided into two parts. One part is based on the Russian multifunctional module, which connects the experimental module, service module and living module of other countries, forming the core part of the space station. The other part is the American truss structure, which has the Canadian robotic arm and extravehicular equipment, as well as four pairs of large solar panels to provide power for the space station. These two parts, like a crossed keel, constitute the main support of the entire space station. The main goal of the International Space Station is to conduct various space science research and promote international cooperation to test long-term missions such as lunar and Mars exploration. On this space station, Astronauts can use the microgravity environment to conduct various experiments involving various fields such as physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, materials, earth observation, and astronomical observation, explore the mysteries of space, and contribute to the well-being and development of mankind. Not only that, the International Space Station is also a platform to showcase human technology and creativity, using many high-tech technologies such as solar panels, hull thrusters, flexible docking mechanisms, robotic arms and expandable activity cabins, which improve the performance and efficiency of the space station. More importantly, the International Space Station is also a place to promote international friendship and cooperation. It is jointly built and shared by multiple countries. Astronauts live and work together here, learn and communicate with each other, and enhance mutual understanding and trust. The International Space Station is one of the greatest projects in the history of human spaceflight. It provides an important base for human space exploration and a valuable resource for the development of human science and culture. Now let's learn about the Tiangong Space Station. This is China's independently built third-generation modular space station, consisting of three modules with a total design mass of 180 tons, which is enough to accommodate three astronauts for a long-term stay. The Tiangong Space Station uses a series of advanced technologies, including solar panels, hull thrusters, and flexible docking mechanisms, which have significantly improved the performance and efficiency of the space station. The construction of this space station is not only a technological feat, but also lays the foundation for future space exploration. The main goal is to conduct space science experiments and technical verification, providing valuable experience and data for deep space exploration. 
The Tiangong Space Station is not only a scientific laboratory, but also a model of technological innovation. The operation of the space station has become more efficient by introducing modern technologies such as solar panels, hull thrusters, and flexible docking mechanisms. The Chinese space station belongs to the third generation space station in terms of construction structure. However, when designing, the Chinese space station drew on the experience of the International Space Station, greatly improving the space utilization and resource utilization and meeting China's current scientific research needs. For example, the solar cells of the Chinese space station are highly efficient. The two large solar flexible battery wings of Tiangong use three junction gallium arsenide batteries, which can achieve a conversion rate of 30%. The power generation of the two battery wings plus the battery wings of the core module can reach more than 100 kilowatts. The efficiency of the solar panels of the International Space Station is only 15%. So why does the Chinese space station adopt the third-generation development approach instead of the newer fourth generation? This is related to the extremely expensive shipping costs of the fourth-generation space station. Over the past 20 years, countries have invested more than 200 billion US dollars in the International Space Station. And China's aerospace is still in the catching-up stage. When the third-generation space station technology can meet most scientific research needs, it also has room for subsequent transformation, which is a very cost-effective choice. Since the International Space Station project was established in 1993, China has hoped to join the International Space Station. However, the United States opposed China's joining on the grounds of China's low level of aerospace and military background, and proposed that China could contribute funds but could not share space station technology. In 2011, the U.S. Congress introduced an amendment called the Wolf Clause, which prohibits any joint scientific activities of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA and the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy from conducting technical exchanges with the government of the People's Republic of China. The Chinese space station has sent invitations to the world to board the Tiangong. In the first batch of scientific research project selection stage, China received 42 project applications from 27 countries in Europe, America, Asia, and Africa and finally nine projects from 17 countries were successfully selected. Although it was built independently by China, the Tiangong Space Station welcomes participation and cooperation from other countries and organizations. It provides nine docking ports to support the docking of multiple spacecraft and equipment and realize the sharing and mutual benefit of the space station. In addition, the Tiangong Space Station will accommodate astronauts from various countries and regions, provide a comfortable and safe working and living environment, and promote mutual understanding and trust. The Tiangong Space Station is the pride of China's space industry and the wealth of human space industry. It will provide a valuable resource for China's scientific and cultural development, and will also contribute to human space exploration and space technology progress. In general, compared with the Tiangong Space Station and the International Space Station, they each have unique characteristics and values. As the result of multinational cooperation, the International Space Station has significant advantages in scale and history, and provides a huge platform for space science research and international cooperation. The Tiangong Space Station demonstrates China's ambition and achievements in independent space technology and has advantages in technological innovation and flexibility. Whether it is the International Space Station or the Tiangong Space Station, 
They are great achievements in human exploration of space and have opened the door to the universe for us. Different structures and functions enable them to play an important role and contribute unique value to the progress of space science and human civilization. Let us look forward to the future development of these two space stations. They will continue to bring us more wonderful discoveries about the universe and promote human beings to take new steps in the field of space exploration. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.